Hey, what's up you guys? It's Troy Sivan and this is probably the most nervous I've ever been in my entire life. Um, but I'm going to deal with it because I have something to tell you guys, as you can probably see by the title of this video. The date today is August 7th, 2013, and the reason I'm telling you this is because on August 7th, 2010, I told my family that I am gay. And now on August 7th, 2013, I want you guys to know that I'm gay. It feels kind of weird to have to announce it like this on the internet, but um, I feel like a lot of you guys are like real, genuine friends of mine, and I share everything with the internet. I share every aspect of my life with the internet, and um, whether or not that's a good thing, I don't know, but this is not something that I'm ashamed of, and it's not something that anyone should have to be ashamed of, so why not share it with all of you guys? I'm terrified. I know that some people are going to have a problem with this. I know that... Um, this could kind of change everything for me, um, but it shouldn't have to, and that's why I'm making this video, and that's why I think it's important that people make these kind of videos, because my aim on this channel is to make you guys smile and you guys laugh, and that's never going to change. I'm still going to make the same videos, I'm still the same Troy, um, this is just some new information about Troy. Now that I've told you guys that, I may as well catch you up on this chunk of my life that's kind of been missing from the internet's knowledge. Uh, when I was born, I always knew that something was a little bit different about me. Um, I couldn't figure out what it was, but um, the word gay kind of scared me a lot when I was younger, and I knew that that wasn't a good thing. I remember when I was younger, I used to lie in bed and picture like, you know the, the signs on the doors of toilets, the, the female sign and the male sign, and I used to picture the male sign and then put a big cross through it in my head, and I used to picture the female sign and put a big green tick next to it. That just kind of proves that I've always, I've always been this way and I've always known that something was up. But yeah, basically, I, I always kind of put those thoughts on the back burner, um, in the back of my mind. I didn't want to really think about it. It kind of scared me and terrified me. Maybe something was going to change. But then when I was 14, I went to the park with my best friend Kayla. And Kayla and I started talking about our deepest, darkest secrets. And I thought about it and I was like, you know what? There is this one thing, but that was something that I was never, ever, ever going to discuss with anyone. That was, that was what I, like, kind of a pact that I'd made in my head. You know, that was your thing and that was your secret to keep forever and ever and ever. But Kayla is Kayla and there is a reason that she is my best friend and she managed to kind of pull it out of me. And I said to her, I think I might be, and she goes to me, Troy, are you bisexual? And I started to cry my eyes out and hugged her and said, I think I might be, yeah. But I freaked out because I wasn't ready. I really genuinely was not ready for this. I had never thought about it before and it was just kind of this, this thing in, my, in the back of my mind that I never really thought about. So I ran home crying and we decided that we were never ever going to speak of it again. But what that did is it kind of opened up this thing in my head that that could be the case. So it kind of forced me to deal with it there and then when I was 14 and a half. So for about six months, I did the only thing I know how to do, which is go on my laptop. And this is the majority of the reason why I'm doing this today is because I hope that people like 14 year old Troy are going to find this video. Because I watched pretty much every coming out video on YouTube that has ever been posted. I watched it in between 14 and a half and 15. And um, those coming out videos and those people on YouTube, those brave, brave, brave people on YouTube, I Without them, I don't know where I'd be. I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know what, what I would have done because, um, yeah, it just kind of showed me that it's okay. You know what I mean? And that there's people out there living healthy, happy lives who are absolutely fine and they happen to be gay as well. So in those six months, I, I became happy with myself. So I went back to Kayla's house. This is like six months later and we hadn't spoken about it at all. I said to her, I, I've got to tell you something. And I told her again for, for a second time. And since then, our friendship has been, like, absolutely unbreakable. The strongest kind of friendship that you can have. And she's been so accepting and so amazing. And she just hugged me and told me it was completely okay. And within 10 minutes, we were, we were, we were back to normal, 100% fine. And then, on August 7th, 2010, I was lying on my bed with my dad. And we started kind of talking about um, religion and stuff like that. And I said to him, if there was anything about religion that you could change, what would you change? And he said to me, he was like, you know, to me, the whole gay thing, it really, it really doesn't make sense why, why a religion would kind of be against it or whatever, because it's completely natural and it's how, it's how those people are and everything. And, um, 
to be honest, I think he was kind of trying to pull it out of me because he knows me better than anyone else knows me. I, he, he said to me, yeah, why? What about you? And I was like, yeah, yeah, pretty much the same. Just the, the whole gay thing, it doesn't really make sense to me. And he was like, oh, okay. Um, and I went, because dad, and I don't know if this only happened to me. Um, anyone else who has had to come out or say something really nerve wracking, let me know if this happened to you as well. But I felt a literal physical locking of my throat and I couldn't speak. So I went, because dad, I'm gay. I just remember him kind of looking over at me and starting to kind of bawl his eyes out. I also bawled my eyes out. We hugged and I asked him, I was like, Dad, do you still love me? And he looked at me like I was absolutely crazy and said, yes, of course, I still love you. And that was that. And then we spoke until like the early hours of the morning and he just wanted to make sure that I was okay. That was literally his only worry in the world. To him, it did not make the slightest, slightest difference in his life. And um, yeah, it, it was completely fine. It was completely, completely fine. I think in the back of my head, I always knew it would be, but it was just actually jumping over that hurdle that was probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. When I woke up in the morning, he had told my mum, and my mum woke up and she gave me a hug and we, we sat and talked for a long time. And then progressively throughout the week, my dad and mum, on my request, told all of my siblings. They, even though they told them separately, each one of them actually had the exact same reaction, which was to come into my room and just hug me and tell me that it was absolutely okay and 100% fine. And after my family, I just carried on working through like my inner circle of best, best, best friends and not a single one of them had a problem with it. And I think that is absolutely incredible. Um, I'm surrounded by the most amazing, amazing people. Um, if anything, it just brought me and my friends a lot closer and me and my family a lot closer because I didn't have anything to hide anymore. So I could just kind of chill and not think about anything anymore. And, and just, yeah, life, life was awesome. And all the time you see these, like, it gets better videos online and, and things of that nature where, um, you know, for people, it, it's really, really, really shit in the beginning, but don't worry, it gets better. Um, I'm here to say that, that that's, that's true because it will get better for everyone. But um, I'm also here to say, I guess, that my message is that it can be good right from the start. You know, you could have a completely smooth, smooth sail out of the closet. Though this video has probably been the hardest video to make that I've ever made, I hope that um, nothing will change. I'm going to put my email address in the down bar so that you guys can contact me with any questions or queries. And I'm also going to put a whole lot of resources for young gay teens in the description that... Um, the kind of resources that helped me out when I was a scared little 14 year old. I love you guys so much. Seriously, I do. I really do. Do I do the wink in this video? Is this video too serious to do the wink? Nah. Okay. I love you guys so much. I'll see you next week. Bye!